The Call of Duty offseason is officially upon us, which means all of our favorite pro players are off playing different Call of Duties, old school Call of Duties, and kind of just trying to find something that they enjoy a little bit more than this new gen stuff. However, as a lot of people have been asking us, how are these pro players playing games like BO3 on Steam without feeling horrible, horrible input delay and stuff like that? We got the answer for you. Courtesy of a boy Selium, who actually went ahead and shared some of his DS4 window settings on stream. We're going to go ahead and go through kind of Selium settings, as well as how we used to overclock our controllers and find a perfect blend play your favorite OG games. All right, so before we begin doing anything with the controller, we're gonna wanna again download both programs that we're gonna be using. So on GitHub from Ryochan7 and The Lord of Mice, we're gonna wanna download Hid USB, which is kind of the program we've used to always overclock our controllers. And then we're gonna wanna download DS4 Windows, which we're gonna fine tune our controller to suit BO3 and the games that are kind of more old school that have a lot of input delay. So we're gonna wanna download the one that suits our PC. I'd recommend downloading the zip, but you can get down whatever you want. And then on here, we're gonna download the one that was posted last year, the HID USB F zip, this one right here. All right, and from here, the process is super easy. We're gonna take our cable, we're gonna take our PS4 controller, whatever controller you're using, PS5, anything like that. And we're gonna begin the process. So we're gonna wanna plug it into our PC first to start. All right, after we have our controller plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and go into our desktop. Now I just kind of export everything into one simple folder called overclock. First, we're going to go ahead and do the hid USB one, which is very simple. I've posted two videos on this in the past, but we're going to do it one more time really, really quickly here. So we're going to open the folder, open the driver folder, and then open setup.exe. And from here, you're going to see all your things. So this every USB port you have plugged in. Defaults to mice, but we're going to want to go ahead and hit all. And we're going to want to find our controller. So now it's kind of hard to see which one our controller is at first, unless you've already done this. As you guys can see, I've already overclocked mine. But to find it out, you just want to unplug your controller. And then something will disappear and when you plug it back in you're gonna see that that is a controller so we're gonna go ahead and look what's new this one right here okay the audio endpoint headset wireless microphone that's the one that is our controller so what we're gonna want to do really quickly is obviously if this was already set to defaults 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 we're gonna want to click this part install service default to a thousand if you're on a ps5 controller you're gonna want to go eight thousand and press install service then we're gonna want to filter on device press install service when we unplug plug it back in our controller is going to be overclocked now that is the basic stuff we've done in the past multiple times we've posted videos on this numerous times so if you guys haven't checked them out they have like 50k views each they'll be in the description down below as well if you want a little more detail on that and now we're going to hop right into the ds4 windows all right so in the same folder here in the overclock folder we're going to want to go ahead and open our ds4 windows and ds4 windows.exe now this is where kind of you can fine-tune your controller and make it feel as good as possible especially on bo3 because that's kind of where all the problems are and you're going to see, you just heard, this is my PS4 controller. The second I plug it in, you can see. You can also make some customizations to your controller, which is really nice here. You can change the look and the color and that kind of thing. So I'll go ahead and plug mine in really quick. And there we go. So we have our light bar, this kind of stuff. We can change all that. We're going to hit edit. And this is where the magic happens. So we're going to want to go ahead and make this full screen really quick to make sure everyone can see everything. And you can kind of see where we can go and change all these. So these are the values that I have. These values are from the stream of Celium professional player from Atlanta phase sponsor paradox customs so go ahead note these down copy these make sure your dead zones and everything is exactly the same and you'll feel your game feel a lot better so again I have radio dead zone types all these values 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0.75 these are all stuff that has been changed so it's worth noting and yeah these are the settings that we use we got them from Celium, and they make the game feel infinitely better now, last but not least, we're not done yet. What we're gonna wanna do to make sure our game feels as good as possible is open our game, in this case, BO3, in big picture mode on Steam. So we're gonna click this button in the top right corner here. It's gonna restart Steam. And this is kinda to optimize the game. It's a little annoying. The UI is a little buggy, but this is infinitely the best feeling you can get. You guys can see here, I can go to my controller and go into my options, properties, that kind of thing. We're just gonna load up BO3 here. We're gonna hit play. And the game's gonna feel undescribably better. It's something you have to feel to really know, but it, it truly does make a world of a difference. Alrighty, now one last thing to make sure your game is gonna be feeling as good as it's supposed to is you're gonna wanna hit this arrow here and make sure DS4 Windows is still active and on. You can minimize it to the background so it's not gonna be on your bottom bar. It's not gonna be taking up too much of your CPU, but you do want DS4 Windows open. And then when we hop in game here, for the first time ever, <clears throat> For the first time ever, you're going to be playing Black Ops 3 or your favorite COD from console at 100, 200, maybe 300 FPS with an overclock controller that feels just as good as it felt back in the day. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not leave without leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. If you guys found this helpful, please share it with your friends. 
And if you have any other video ideas you want us to do, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments down below. And we'll try and get to as many of them as possible. Like I said, if you guys enjoy, please don't leave that leave a like, comment, and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.